I've had so much gratitude this morning for the life that I get to live and the freedom that I have in it that I had to come on and just talk because in those moments when you're feeling so great, oh, you just have to share and get it off your chest, right? And I, when I started my fitness and nutrition journey, I had just had my second baby when I started it with a company that I'm with and I was scared to death because the genetics that run in my family, it's not an easy road. It my my body set point for weight loss is much higher and whenever I eat sugar or empty carbs, I pretty much puff up and explode. Like my body just doesn't regulate well and I get really bad cravings and hyperglycemic almost issues to where I can't think, I can't focus if I don't eat throughout the day, which is why I've loved the time nutrition plan that I've been on because I'm gonna eat it anyway. I may as well learn what's working for my body. And I also um, was just scared because I was, I was a mom and I was taking care of two tiny humans and I thought, am I ever, ever, ever gonna have time for myself? And am I ever gonna be able to get a chance to have my body back? And so I wanted to just say, it's possible, number one. And number two, not that I'm in perfect shape by any means, but I feel so good. And that's what happened to me when I started my coaching journey is I put my head down, I trusted the process, I did five months of a calendar on this fun, like kickboxing, high energy, high motivation workout. And I could not believe 10 months after I had had my second, my little baby boy, like I had abs. I had better abs than I'd ever had pre-baby. So it was really inspiring to me, really encouraging. I thought, man, I wonder if I could just help one other mom feel like this. And what I wanna share with you today is something I've never actually shared on social media or have ever shared in one of the what is coaching, like what do I do for a living in any of my um, groups, my private groups, because I don't know if it's pride or if I just didn't, it didn't hit me how powerful and how meaningful what I've been able to create has been to my family. But I set out, after I got my results of losing 40 pounds with this, you know, staying at home, I just worked out when the kids napped and, or didn't nap. And I, I pushed myself past what I'd ever, ever done because I'm a person who never used to set goals. I never used to dream. I never used to believe in myself to where I could actually do something that was worthwhile. I had very, very low confidence. And what it's shown me is that I actually have control over my results. I actually have control over my mindset. I don't have to be reactive and kind of blow in the wind and get whiplash by the next greatest thing that's gonna work for me when they never did. I never had great results from all of the crazy fad diets I did. I had to find a plan that was sustainable for my lifestyle and I had to work that plan until it worked for me. And I've done that not only with my health and fitness, but I've also done it with my coaching business. And what I wanted to say today is when I felt so good, I thought if I could just help one other mom, just one other mom that doesn't have any hope, I'm gonna cry, doesn't have hope, doesn't believe that she can see the results that she wants, doesn't believe that she can actually take time for herself and feels like she's gonna drown in the world of motherhood at this point because she just was kind, kind of in a bad frame of mind. Like that's where I was. And this gave me hope. And so I wanted to offer that to one other woman out there, mom or no mom. I just wanted to put it out there. And that's what I did. And then I got so addicted to it that I've been doing it ever since. And it has been so, it has brought so much joy into my life because it's not all about me. And I think that when we live in a world, I didn't even grow up like serving in the church or serving at mission, serving, you know, homeless shelters. I didn't grow up serving and volunteering my time. It wasn't something that I was taught. And so what this has become for me is I'm able to serve women and, and serve people in a way that, and I don't even care about the paycheck. I wasn't even in it for the paycheck. I knew I could make money doing it, but it was such a, big investment with my time and small paycheck at first. And so I just set out to help 
three plus women a month and I said, oh my goodness, like hearing these people's stories and reading what they're writing to me and seeing what they need, my heart would just bleed for them and it still does. When I see things, you may have seen, you can go to my Instagram page right now and see a post that I just made about one of the girls that's in our group. And like, I love, love, love because I know what's changing in her mind and in her soul and in her family's life. And it's leaving, it's like when you throw a rock into a lake and it just leaves this beautiful ripple effect. Like I know that there's so much more than just the scale changing. So much more about getting abs. It's the be- it's like a beautiful braid of all good things coming into her life, right? And that's what's come into my life. And so now I rely on the accountability of my clients. I rely on them. I have to show up for them. And that keeps me on the straight and narrow because left to my own devices, if I, if I don't have a straight and narrow road to walk on, I will end up in a ditch a million times over because I just, I'll quit on myself real quick, but I won't qu- quit on my girls and I won't quit on my coaching team. So what's been really cool and what I wanted to share that I've never voiced before uh, was that I didn't realize my husband's an entrepreneur and I was not. I was like, punch a clock, do a service, give me my paycheck, thank you. But he has this entrepreneur spirit and this ser- he loves to serve people and he loves to give um, more than he probably should most of the time. And he has had a rocky road with his businesses. Now, when we, I started four years ago, I was like, okay, I can slow and steady this business. I can, there's no ceiling to what I can earn. And it's, it's not for everyone. And you have to love working with people and you have to like living a healthy lifestyle and, you know, growing yourself. But I knew that I could improve and I knew it would challenge me. And that's what I was after. And so when I started, I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to watch this thing grow. I'm just going to keep showing up and I'm going to keep helping, you know, three to 10 people a month get a health and fitness plan that is actually going to work for them. And I believe in it from like the depths of my soul. And so all this time I've been growing this side business that started with me just building confidence in myself me being able to serve and help people and feeling the joy in that, me being able to uh, read books, understand leadership, understand things that I still don't have a grasp on, but I'm, I'm learning them. And all the bad experiences I've had in this, I have, it's not a bad experience because I've actually grown from it. Um, so, you know, if you've ever seen that graph where like you think success is like a straight arrow up and really it's just like this big spaghetti noodle mess of just mess. That's what it's been like for me, but that's kind of what I knew what I was getting into. And so all the while, my husband lost um, his real estate business group that he had because his main partner, her husband, died suddenly. It was very, it rocked everyone. And it rocked my husband more than I think anyone because he had a plan, he had a vision, and now his partner was out of the, you know, she, she just couldn't. And so he kind of stalled for a little bit. He kind of helped me with the beach body business a little bit. And then he had to figure out what he was going to do again, because he, he's an entrepreneur. He, he can't, I don't even think he could physically go punch a clock or collect. Like, I don't think he could work for someone. It's in his family heritage. And it's crazy to me because I'm like, just go get a paycheck. And he, he just has such big dreams and such big goals. He's like, no, God has something bigger for me. I'm going to, I'm going to listen to him. I'm going to trust him. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to be over here working my side business because when this whole thing started, yes, I wanted confidence, but I also not only wanted to maintain my abs, but I wanted to have extra spending money. I wanted to have control over not asking my husband if I can buy my designer jeans or shoes or makeup. I wanted control of that and I didn't want it to hinder my family. I didn't want it to sacrifice our Disneyland vacation because mom wants nice things. You know, like it's okay to want nice things. And sometimes when your family changes and the priorities change, like you gotta find a way to make it happen. And plus I used to work retail hours and there was no way in this lifetime I wanted to be a mom working retail hours. It just made me sick to my stomach. So I thought this is my way out of working those retail hours and counting on other people to raise my kids and having to go back. Like what if something did happen where I had to work? I don't want to have to be stuck on someone else's dream. I want to be able to dream big and do it on my own. So all this time that my husband was figuring out what he needed, 
I was growing the team and I was growing this business. And I will tell you that it still shocks me to know. And he still, he's like, he talked to me about it today. He's like, I can't even believe that your paychecks, your weekly paychecks have held us together where I didn't have to borrow money from my parents and I didn't have to go borrow from the bank to, you know, wait until to see what I was going to do and what business I was going to start after everything crumbled. And he is so internally grateful to me. And I'm just like, well, I was just chugging along because I know the slow and steady wins the race. And I know that I still have bigger goals and bigger dreams that I want to see happen on my side. But for me to have him say that to me has been such a beautiful part of our journey. And not everyone's journey starts the same or they're, other people start coaching and they want different things. But I just wanted to share that today that if you don't trust the economy, if you want a side hustle that can be part-time, can turn into full-time, you want something so where you can grow your own vision and your dreams and have a crew and a tribe that you can love on and people that you can serve, message me because I can help you grow that and see that vision and the training, we just revamped our new coach training even though we have amazing training in our coach office. Um, but you know, there's definitely things that can be different for you. If you are struggling with not knowing exactly what your purpose is in this life, if you feel stuck in your life, if you need to get healthy and fit and you're, you know that diabetes is around the corner for you because you see it in your family all over or heart disease or you know, obesity or whatever that looks like for you and your, your genetics and your family line, this kind of encompasses all of that. It's freedom, it's fitness, it's food, it's like travel and amazing, amazing parts of so many things that we all pretty much like our New Year's resolutions. I want to travel more. I want to weigh less. I want to, you know, create something beautiful. So message me today. Let me know if you want to just investigate because I can consult and just say, hey, you know what? But this could be a good fit for you and here's what's in it for you. And we can talk about it. And there's no obligation. It's just a conversation of can you maybe do what you've dreamed of doing and this could be the vehicle that gets you there.